Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to share an internet connection using internet connection sharing in Windows 7. Uh, the, and basically the, the topology or the uh, structure of what I'm going to do is right here on, on, uh, um, on the screen. Uh, what I'm going to do is connect to wirelessly with a laptop to uh, a wireless router and then through that into the internet. Uh, that's just a normal wireless connection to a, a wireless router. Um, and then from there, I'm going to share that connection through the LAN port on my laptop through uh, using a, a network cable connected to the back of a, uh, uh, a computer. Any computer that has a network port will uh, actually accept this. So uh, basically what you need is, a, you know, an internet connection, obviously. A laptop with a wireless adapter card and a network card built in with a network port. Uh, a internet, sorry, a network cable uh, and a, and a uh, computer, a client computer that has a network card in it. So my client computer is going to be a, a netbook uh, laptop because it's easier for me. Uh, but I'll show you how to how how that works and, and I'll show you it working. So next thing we need to do or the first thing we need to do is check your network connections. So down here at the bottom right, you'll see your uh, network icon. Mine is, is wireless. Obviously, I'm connected through wireless. I'm going to right click that. And I'm going to uh, uh, left click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Then we're going to go to Change Adapter Settings. And there you'll see that I have a wireless network card and a local area connection, which means that I have both an, a network uh, uh, NIC, uh, network, network interface card, and a wireless network card. So built into this laptop. So let's go check the settings on that uh, card, the uh, local area connection. So right click it, choose properties, go to internet protocol uh, version 4, uh, TCP IP version 4 properties, and you'll see that both of these should be set to obtain the IP address automatically. So we'll leave that alone because that's correct. And then hit OK again. Now, on the wireless network card is where you actually um, configure the sharing. And so since you're sharing the internet connection that comes from this wireless card, so let's uh, right click that, choose properties. And there you see sharing as one of the tabs near the top. Um, first of all, let's look at the internet protocol version 4, which is what you're using to surf the net. And it's set the same as the other, uh, all set to automatically um, get those, obtain an IP address automatically, a DNS address, the server address automatically as well. So just showing you that to show you how it should be set. Then go to sharing. And then under internet connection sharing, you say, you click on allow other, you, other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So that's cool. Check that off. Um, you, there's also another check here to allow other network users to control or disable the shared internet connection. Well, up to you whether you check that off or not. Uh, this link here will, show, will uh, actually be a little tutorial on how to use this. But uh, at this point, just click on uh, settings here because you need to go into this. And you see that select the services running on your network that the internet users can access. Well, you see that internet mail is, is uh, three of them and that uh, uh, HTTPS and HTTP, which is web server and secure web server is also in there. I would say at the least, uh, if you're sharing something out, to check off uh, these five, because if you're going to connect to the internet securely on the other computer, like let's say to a banking site, then you're going to need that uh, port open. And if you're going to browse the internet, you're going to need that port open, HTTP. And if you're going to check email, well, pretty useful to have both, all three of these open. Now, I would also go with uh, POP3 as well. Uh, as you don't know how the your mail client is going to be connecting. Um, and if you want to be safe, just check them all off, and that's what I'll do. Okay. Uh, now, even if, if you see a service here that you need that is not there, you can click on Add and Add a Service, but that's beyond the scope of this uh, um, tutorial, but it's just showing you that it's available. So I'm going to hit Cancel there. I've checked all these off. Click OK and OK again. Okay, and it says, now it says shared. Okay, so it's sharing the wireless connection. And the way it's going to share it is through this network card. Now, if you check the network card at this point, 
you'll see this. Let's go to properties. So right click it, choose properties, then internet protocol version 4, TCP IP v4. And you'll see it now has an IP address. Don't mess with the IP address, but it should have that an IP address in here. Uh, mine has 192.168.137.1 uh, and subnet mask 255.255.255.0, which is standard. Okay, so and uh, in, you know, just showing you that that the sharing is actually already started to to modify your system. Uh, next, I'm going to plug in my network. Uh, cable uh, from my other computer and you'll see that it instantly goes into identifying and then it says unidentified network but that's fine um, on your other uh, computer if it's running Windows you will have to set the uh, properties of the TCP IP to obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server automatically now, that way it'll pull the this host machine for that IP address. So um, I'm going to hit. I'm going to get out of this. Just minimize. So now we have a physical connection uh, between the two computers with ICS enabled. And uh, next, I'm going to show you this actually working uh, in real in the real world. So we have my laptop here. Uh, ICS has been enabled. Got my network uh, cable plugged into the side of the laptop. Uh, and then followed up into the side of this laptop or netbook and as you can see I have a speed test up there uh, just to show you that it actually is connected and working just fine um, let's go and do a let's do a new test here and you can see what's going on there and as you can see it's plenty fast I'm getting 15.916 uh, megabits per second. Upload speed could be better, but it's a cable connection and my upload speed is limited anyway. But regardless, you can see that it actually is connecting to through the laptop and the wireless connection at a pretty good speed. I'm getting uh, pretty well what I would get on the actual wireless uh, laptop itself. So, as you can see, my internet connection sharing through that cable and my laptop is working just fine. Uh, on my next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to connect this same uh, uh, configuration but to several computers, not just one.